Hi guys and welcome back to another Kiru video. In today's episode I'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about the new Phil Mouth Stroker from Kiru. There's lots to go through in this video so enough waffling from me, let's get into it. Hi guys, I'm UK Daz as always and as I said at the start of the video I will be showing you today the new Phil Mouth Stroker from Kiru Toys. So if you haven't seen the new Phil Mouth Stroker yet this is the first generic non-binary mouth stroker. Kiru have had a mouth stroker before but that was based on a real person. This is their first in the range of non-binary ones. So you might be wondering what's coming up in today's video. Well, like always, I always give an unboxing video to show you what you get when you buy the stroker. Then I'm going to tell you a little bit more information about the toy, and then I'm going to give you my review. So there is a fair bit to cover in today's episode. So enough waffling from me, let's get into the unboxing. So as always, I do like to show the outside of the box being opened. This is just to show that Kiru do send all their products with discreet packaging. There was a shipping label, but there was no mention of Kiru on it. So let's get the box open and show you what's inside. As you can see, there is some packaging to keep the stroker safe. Along with that is our Phil Mouth Stroker. As you can see on the outside of the box, it tells you that it's compatible with the Kiru Kian and the Power Blow. On the front of the box, it's got a picture of the stroker itself. And if we spin the box, around again we can see the texture of the sleeve and what the front of it looks like. On the other side again I forgot to mention that it does show you how to fit the Kiru Kian and the Power Blow and if we go to the back of the box there's seven different languages that tells you what to expect when you use a stroker. Anyway that's enough looking at the box let's open it up and show you the Phil Mouth Stroker. As always at the top of the box there is a small piece of cardboard that stops the toy from rattling around inside the box. This helps to prevent any damage that may occur during transport. Just unscrew the cap and take off the cardboard and put the cap back on. Now that the cap has been screwed back on, we can open up our stroker. To start using the stroker, all you need to do is pull the cap off at the bottom end. And as you can see, the quality of the mouth is extremely good. The sleeve is made of TPE, and if we open up the mouth, we should be able to see the pattern that runs inside the stroker. I don't have the best light in here but inside there are lots of lumps and bumps that run along the inside of the sleeve. When you want to clean the sleeve all you need to do is pull it out of the tube. Once it is clean and dry pop it back into the tube and push it back in as far as the ridge that runs along the top. To give you a better idea of what it looks like inside the sleeve I'm going to turn it inside out. Here you can clearly see all the lumps and bumps that run along inside the sleeve. The same pattern on the fill mouth stroker runs to the other end and as I said earlier on slide the sleeve back inside the tube and push it into the groove that runs around the inside of the top of the sleeve. If you do want to add the power blow to your fill mouth stroker all you need to do is pull the sleeve out, take out the plastic ring that runs around the top of the tube, push into the tube the cup that comes with the power blow, then replace the plastic ring back into the tube and push back in your sleeve. Finally all you need to do is unscrew the cap at the bottom, push on the o-ring and screw on your power blow. Once all that's been done you're ready to use it. If you want to learn more about about the power blow there is a video in the top right hand side of the screen. If you want to see how to fit the stroker into the Kiru Kian, all you need to do is remove the power blow if you've got one from the top, stand the stroker up on a flat surface and place over your Kiru Kian. All you need to do then is lift the tube and give it a twist. This will lock your stroker in place. And if you have got the power blow, all you need to do now is screw it back on. If you do want to learn more about the Kiru Kian, there is a video in the top right hand side of your screen. If you have been inspired to buy the Phil Mouth Stroker, the Kiru Kian or the power Below, there is a link in the description below and if you have found this video useful so far please do hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future videos so there you have it that's what you get when you buy the new Phil Mouth Stroker from Kiru Toys to give you a little bit more information about the toy it measures 220 millimeters long and the ideal penis diameter is 2 centimeters to 4.5 centimeters now that's not saying it won't accept bigger penises or smaller ones it just means that's the optimal size inside each sleeve there is a lot more room so don't feel if you're slightly bigger you can't fit inside you will the stroker weighs in at 542 grams and the great thing about it is you can also fit the power blow to it and you can attach it to the Kiru Kian. Inside the sleeve as I showed you in the video there are lots of lumps and bumps that run through the inside of it and these have felt really good whilst using it. Like all Kiru strokers it's extremely soft to use 
but make sure to add some lube to your order as it can be tricky to get inside if you're running dry. Now I have really enjoyed using this stroker. It's not as heavy as some of the other ones that I've had in the past. If you'd like to see other Kiru toys that I have had and used, then there is a playlist at the end of this video. Now, if you get yourself a Kiru toy and you want to speak to like-minded people, I do have a Reddit group in the description below. In the group, you'll find other people who have got Kiru toys and they're interacting with each other, sharing control links and just having a good time. There are not loads of people in there at the moment. It's a fast growing group. So if you do want to talk to like-minded people, then make sure to join. And whenever a new Kiru toy comes out, I always post it in there first. If you have been inspired to buy the new Phil Mouth Stroker from Kiru Toys, then there is a link in the description below. It is an affiliate link. It doesn't cost you any more to use. But if you do choose to buy something, it does give me a very small percentage of Kiru's profits. If you do have any questions, feel free to come and drop them in the comments box below on my blog or come and find me on social media. All those links are also listed in the description below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and notification bell for future Kiru videos. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, peace out.